Hello everyone, my name is Atish and in this learning video we are going to see how to make use of the scientific calculator to multiply two matrices. But before we start uh, the multiplication of matrices using the calculator, scientific calculator to be precise, before that let me tell you the rule of multiplication. Okay, so suppose you have a matrix A. Suppose you have a matrix A whose order is M by N and suppose you have another matrix A B whose order is N by M for example. Okay, then the matrix multiplication which is A B is possible only when the column of the first matrix matches with the row of the second matrix means this both the things should match then only the matrix multiplication is possible not just this but also the order of the product would be this cross this so order of the uh, matrix product matrix is this if you are not able to get this let us make it easy by taking matrix A, we have a matrix A C whose order is 2 by 2 and let us take a matrix whose order is uh, say 2 by 3 or 2 by 4 okay then uh, say this is to be matrix D so can you tell me that matrix multiplication is possible or not yes what should be your response yes the matrix multiplication is possible and you must justify your answer also. So your justification would be yes, it is possible because the column of the first matrix matches with the row of the second matrix and the resultant matrix that is matrix CD would be of the order. Yes, what should be the order? So I want you to pause the video for a few seconds and try to come up with your answer. So I hope you might have come up with your answer. So what would be the order of this resultant matrix or the product matrix CD? 2 cross 4. Correct. Okay. Now let us do these calculations in the scientific calculator. Uh, before, before that one remark I would like to make. If suppose uh, the row or sorry the column of the first matrix does not match with the does not match with the row of the second matrix then the scientific calculator will show you an error okay because matrix multiplication is not possible if the column of the first matrix does not matches with the row of the next matrix okay now let us do this uh, calculations over here okay in the last class we have seen how to uh, enter a matrix uh, in the scientific calculator. Now here we will do this thing twice because uh, for a product we need two matrices. So uh, you can on the calculator then press on menu setup that at 4 we have matrices. Now I will going to put this in mat A. So mat A is at 1. So what type of row you want uh, what type of matrix you want to take how many rows 2 how many columns say 2. So we have this matrix. Now you can substitute 1, uh, 2, minus 1 and say 3. Okay. So after substituting this you can press on AC so that the matrix is saved in the memory. Now after uh, this matrix A now I again want to take another matrix. So again I will do the same procedure. Okay. So now what type of matrix you want to take? Yeah, we can take 2 by 4. Okay. Yeah, 2 by 4 matrix we have taken. Now substitute the elements 7, 0, then minus 2, then 6, then whatever element you have, in, uh, you can take. Okay, minus 1, then 2, then 3, then 9. Okay. Now after this, again you press AC. Now both the matrix are saved in. The memory now we can perform the multiplication so multiplication for multiplication you can place on option mat a is at number three okay now as we want multiplication so you can 
put uh, you can place this multiplication sign over here and then again go for option now mat b is at 4 so 4 and now you can place on equal to so as you can see now you got the you got the multiplication of two matrices so you can see the first element is 5 second is 4 next again is 4 then 24 then minus 10 then 6 then 11 and 21 okay so this is the way you can perform multiplication of two matrices here uh, in the scientific calculator so i hope the things that have been explained over here are clear to you so thank you for watching this learning video and enjoy learning mathematics thank you